Hi everybody. This week, the conversation with caregivers has been how do I create a better plan for caregiving than what I'm seeing for my aging parents? How do I create a better plan for my health and for my retirement? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. On my website, helpful information for caregivers and aging adults. First of all, if you are a caregiver, consider yourself lucky. I know you're thinking, lucky? Are you kidding me? All this work I have to do, I'm caring for parents, trying to work, trying to raise my children, maybe trying to go to college. I don't know that I'm lucky if I'm a caregiver. Believe it or not, you are, and here's why. The life experience of being a caregiver, and the earlier that you have this, the better, believe it or not. If you're one of those caregivers in your 20s, 30s, or 40s, you are really lucky, and here's why. You're lucky because you're seeing what your life could be like in 10, 20, 30, 40, even 50 years from now. Why is that good? It's good because you know more than most people about caregiving, about the costs of caregiving, about the physical difficulties that caregivers face and your parents face, about the emotional challenges. Caregiving is the best education that any of us could have to help us prepare for aging for ourselves, for our retirement, and for later years in life. In this video post, there is a link to my caregiving program. It's called Stay at Home. It's all about how to help elderly parents stay at home. And there's information in there that most people, most caregivers, most advisors wouldn't even tell you because it comes from 20 years of me caring for my clients. Caveat, it's available through corporations and groups. So share this video, share this post with your companies. Talk to them about caregiving programs. So, so important. Let me start with some statistics that might surprise you. If you are a baby boomer today, anywhere in your 50s, 60s, 70s, the numbers are growing. The baby boomers will be the largest population of what is considered the oldest old. What do I mean by that? People over age 85. There will be 9 million people in the United States by 2030, so 10 years from now, who will be in this category of the oldest old, age 85 and older. Guess what happens 10 years after that? In 2050, actually 20 years after that, so 2050, that number is gonna double. Nine times two is 18, 18 million people. The United States is gonna have a huge number of people over age 85 who are going to need care, and that could be any of us. So when you think of retirement, when you think of the care that you might need, what will you want for your life? Today, now, it's the time to plan for that. Because like the people that you are taking care of, your parents, your grandparents, maybe even your brothers and sisters, where do they wanna be? They want to be at home. Not a lot of people wanna to move to a care community, although some people do for the socialization. Everybody's different and that is perfect. That's what makes life beautiful. So how do you get there? Well, one of the conversations is money. How many of you have a financial planner? Let me give you the statistics. 84% 84 of people don't think they need a financial planner or anyone to help them with their money. Why is that? Well, 47% of people think, well, I can do it myself. I know what I'm doing. 37% of people think, I don't have enough money for a financial planner. Let me cross that one off your list right now. I can tell you that you do. Years ago, I got a financial planner when all I had was $50 a month to save. Even if you have less than that, you can still have a financial planner. Why? Because financial planning is all about your future. It's all about what $20 today or what $50 today can be in 10, 20, 30, or 40 years when you need it for retirement. And the other statistic, 23% of people think financial planners are too expensive. Seriously, how much time, how much money are you contributing today to the care of your elderly parents who may not have saved 
enough money. What could have happened if they would have hired a financial planner or saved better for their retirement? Financial planners, if you get the right one, are not too expensive. Let's talk about health. Health is another aspect of aging positively and of having quality of life when you're older. How many of you have a regular doctor and a regular medical practice that you go to? Research proves that regular medical care helps you be healthier today, tomorrow, and in old age. Why is that? Because you have someone who knows you, you are more likely to participate in preventative care, in preventative health screenings that can catch something today, rather than saying, oh, I'm healthy, I don't need to go to the doctor, and two years from now, you're diagnosed with heart disease or diabetes or another chronic disease that makes you not feel well, takes a lot of your time to manage, and is expensive because all of the medications that you have to take. Everybody has a different life situation. You might be married, raising your children, taking care of aging parents. You might be a single person who is never planning to get married at all. You definitely need a plan for aging, retirement, and healthcare. And then there are bumps in the road in middle age. Sometimes divorces happen. Sometimes a spouse passes away. People who are called solo agers who are single because of life's circumstances, including having children that you are estranged from that you're not in touch with, also need a better plan. The way that you do that is starting today by looking at saving money, considering hiring a financial planner, looking at your health, looking at where you're going to live. Statistics show that at one point in our life, usually when we're older, many of us will be living alone. How will you manage that if you haven't made a plan where you have options for health care and care and caregivers coming into your home and money to pay for that care? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. Share this video with other caregivers, with other adults that you know. Check out the link in this video post. It's to my online caregiving course. Talk to your corporations, talk to your groups about sponsoring caregiver education so that you can learn everything that you need to know about what's gonna happen when you're older. Visit my website one more time, PamelaDWilson.com. Have a fabulous day today. Also, you can check out my caregiving support group. It's on Facebook. It is called The Caregiving Trap. I'll see you again soon in another video.